Yes, good people. Konbanwa. Good evening. Good to see you. Good to see you indeed. <clears throat> I drifted there into a, a tune called Tsuki. It means the moon. And uh, the moon is a good friend to us. Do, do, do you find that? You know, I, I work down here on my own a lot, down in the Zendo. Sometimes I can see the moon through one window or another. <clears throat> it's a companion. I love it. I was trying to find a moon haiku today. I never did in the end, but um, it was a poem by a, a Chinese poet, I think. And <clears throat> I wish I'd kept this one actually. I can't remember it, but it was uh, the, the theme was that um, he was trying to enlist the moon as a, a drinking companion, but um, but then it had a kind of sad ending because it said, "But the moon can't drink." I don't. Know. I suppose there's some logic in that. <laughs> Ah, uh, dear. Welcome, everybody. Good to see you, Kev. Welcome, Rachel. I always mean to plug the live streams on the live shows, and I always forget, so thanks for finding us. I don't want it to be a, a secret. <laughs> the more, the merrier. <sighs> Nora Jones. It's a beautiful song. Don't know why. <clears throat> you don't hear that so much that these days, do you? People saying, um, on my gravestone, it's going to say, <clears throat> or, or do you? I haven't heard it for a while, but on mine, it's going to say, I wish I'd started a bit younger, and I wish I'd practised better. Not more, because I did practise a lot. <clears throat> but you know, I don't think... <laughs> I wasn't focused and organised as as much as I could have been. I just kind of got it out and hammered away, you know. <laughs> and I, I have the, all these plans for students now, and hopefully avoiding the mistakes I made. Anyway, I'm, I'm just happy to play. Happy to be here, guys, with you lot. 
you lovely Zendenas. Very, very good to see you and feel you. Oh, shouldn't have done that. I was thinking it needs a bit of a clean, this. My favourite horn. So, yeah, saw a few of you guys last night at the uh, <coughs> Classic Sax solo show, the first one of the year. First one for quite a long time, actually, I think. Somebody may, may correct me, <laughs> one of my bibliographers. And we were at Hull Truck Theatre, which is a lovely venue in Hull, just um, the other side of the water from the Zenden. And uh, but it's so tiring, that gig. Oh, so, <laughs> it's so hard. I'm absolutely exhausted, man. Maybe I have to just play all ballads tonight. <clears throat> and when I mean, you can't tell, but I'm actually sitting down tonight. No, I'm not. <sighs> but you know, it's yin and yang, isn't it? We missed you, Celia, of course, and and um, I just miss Simon so so much on on that gig. It's his gig, really. I mean, Neil's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> He's fantastic. Oh, Barbara, two new Zendenas. Good to meet you. Thanks for being here. The best kept secret, <laughs> Sunday Zenden. Um, yeah, Neil plays great. I mean, he kills the gig, but it's kind of, a, I just miss Simon, you know. We all miss Simon. So here he is. There's the bad boy. This is a, it's a bolero, I think, this tune. He was so into his Latin sounds. This is called Lagrimas Negras. Where are you, mate? Yes. Come on, big boy.
Yes, he is the man. He is the man. Oh. Here's to you, Simon. Here's to you all. Julia, you found us too. <laughs> Fantastic. Despite me not mentioning it. Brilliant. Welcome. And I hear you play sax too. So don't make the mistakes that I did. Practice in a focused but still fun way. That's not what I used to do. Though, no. I don't think I had good teachers. <laughs> Ah, dear. And Stephen's back in town. Yeah, we've got an all-star cast tonight. And Kim, yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Every now and again, I just catch a little bit of the chat, but I, I can't, I've got to concentrate on this. I, I'd rather catch up on the chat later and get most of the notes in the right order. That's the aim of the game. So uh, I think well I think we'll um, <clears throat> we'll nip down to Harry's bar and we'll tell Jen how wonderful she is. That's what we're going to do with a bit of luck. Brilliant tune by a Scottish singer songwriter Gordon Haskell. Yeah 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 yeah. By the lights, listen to the jazz in Harry's bar, and I know it won't be long before they play that song. Do you know how wonderful you are? It's a sentimental sound. Make me want to fool around with somebody Who is wishing on a star So I pull my hat down low Go up and say hello Do you know how wonderful you are? I always struggle with the eyes and there'll be those for whom this song has no appeal But I know it works for me And I'm sure you will agree That it illustrates exactly how I feel Things can happen fast some things were built to last I've seen it all go down in Harry's bar Though we've only just begun The show will run and run Do you know how wonderful
Of course, Nelly is wonderful too. Nelly the dog. And Mike is new as well. A, a little bird has told me through my secret m messaging uh, system. <laughs> Mike, welcome, man. Hey, we've got the, the cavalry has arrived today. That's fantastic. New people. Awesome. <laughs> Well, uh, hearing Kev was going to be back in town, I was very inspired to um, to hit the the biggest challenge ever. <clears throat> People like to challenge me on the stream. Now, don't get too many ideas, you new folks, you know, because there's only so many challenges a fella can deal with in life. But <clears throat> I've had some big ones, like singing in Japanese, and uh, but this is probably the biggest. This is a beautiful piece of music. Absolutely, I revisited this today to swat it up. <laughs> Practice makes them um, reasonable, hopefully. And it's, it's such, it's genius. It's a Fleetwood Mac, um, what's his name, guitar player, Mick, no, Greenwood, is that his name? I don't know. It's, it's beautifully played and it's just so fresh and inventive. How do they come up with that? It's a piece called uh, Albatross. He said, uh, and, uh, Kevin said, Snakey, uh, uh, would you play Albatross for us on the saxophone? It's not possible. <laughs> this is a guitar piece. It would only work on the flipping guitar. But um, I enlisted the, the help of um, Fake Davis and his cousins and, uh, and borrowed the uh, compost bin, emptied the compost out, turned it upside down, used it as a drum. And we got this right. I've got two tunes in a row, and I've got to start straight away without getting a, something to pitch to. Right, I know it starts on a C sharp. Ah, that's it. The, the, mel <laughs> the melodies come back into my small brain. Peter Green, thank you. <laughs> Cheers, Kev. Keep me on the straight and narrow, mate. What, what, what did I call him? I don't know. <clears throat> Da, da, da. And one, two, three. <laughs>
albatross as it as it has never been heard before. Oh. I need a lie down after that one. Or a big breath. <laughs> You're welcome, Kev. But no more. Sometimes a challenge is welcome. <laughs> Sometimes you think, I've got enough challenges in my life already. <laughs> you can always try me. <clears throat> it's just popped into my mind. Um, I was doing a radio interview in Tokyo not many years ago. And, uh, and instead of talking to me about my life in music and why I was called Snake and all that kind of stuff, they decided just to challenge me and make me put on records and make me play along to them and sort of sound all right, <laughs> which is quite fun. Challenge the snake and they sort of made him harder and harder. Well, that's what they thought. <laughs> so we kicked off the show last night with um, Average White Pants Pick Up The Pieces. And I thought, I haven't played that for a long time and uh, I love it. So I thought we might have it tonight. Yep. Yeah, I think we will.
Oh dear. Pick up the pieces. That's kind of livened me up a little bit. Right, message coming through on the back phone. Oh, Mike Cole's been a bit cheeky. Why not carry on and play the whole of the last night's set? <laughs> Are you going to come up here and, um, and, and do the vocal parts for me, uh, Mike? Maybe? Cheeky monkey. One day. <clears throat> I'm too tired. <laughs> and Richard's getting in on the act. Well, you guys, come on, bring your, bring your instruments up here. Help me out. <clears throat> hey, I tried a new fingering on that um, that tune for for top top D harmonic D. This one. Because I missed one last night. I shouldn't be admitting that, should I? But yeah, I missed a top D on. Um, <clears throat> I squawked it. On uh, waiting for a star to fall. So I was practicing different fingerings for it today. And it worked. Well, doesn't mean it's going to work tomorrow. <coughs> That's life as a sax player. You never know when you're going to honk one. <coughs> oh dear. So. And of course, not everybody chats, you know. So you might you might be new, and you might not be um, you might prefer not to uh, join in the the chit chat down the side, um, or you might not be able to work it out. But welcome anyway, and welcome to all, all the people who don't chat, the quieter folks, <laughs> the less cheeky ones. But you can always contact us anyway. There's a contact button function facility on the at State Davis Stock Rocks, and we always love to hear from you. <clears throat> Preferably not with massive challenges to play Bohemian Rhapsody on a tin whistle or something. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, let's keep it up and bright. Are you, are you dancing? Are you asking? Are you twisting? <laughs> yeah. I think I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> oh, oh. Let me sort this out. Right, what have I done? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought it was turning the volume up on the backing track and I turned the reverb up to 99. Can you need a little bit of reverb on your, on your voice in your sax just to make you sound like you're in a cathedral, you know? Hey Ashton, how you doing mate? Good to see you. Right, <laughs> we'll start that again. I bet you were mid-twist, weren't you? Like frozen statues. <clears throat> right. Oh, it's all technical, you know. <clears throat> That's 
Welcome Ashton and welcome Harold from Kentucky. Man, what time of the day is it there? Let me work this out. This morning, I know. <laughs> Good morning, Harold. Welcome, mate. Oh man, it's great for new people tonight. I was trying to twist and read the words and not smash the sax into the table. Uh, I think my twisting suffered. But <laughs> I'm sure yours... Oh, I've done it again. I'm sure yours was great. I could kind of feel you twisting there. No bad backs, I hope. I don't know where I heard this, but um, <clears throat> I don't know if any. <laughs> I don't know why I started this one. Apparently, yesterday was you know the, the day for everything, don't they? Like National Saxophone Day, National Stroke a Dog Day, and and apparently yesterday was the the, the day for. National Random Acts of Kindness Day. Why am I putting this down? What am I doing? Oh, I know why. <clears throat> Is that true? Did anybody, anybody else hear that? So I was trying to think whether I did any random acts of kindness. I'm always doing random. I, I always let people across the road and and give them the <laughs> give them the time of day on the principle that. The energy flows and, and goes round and comes back and, you know, you make the world a slightly better place. <clears throat> That's the theory, folks. <clears throat> Do as you would be... What, how's it go? Do as you would be done to. Is that it? No, I think I've got that slightly wrong. What goes around comes around. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have started that one. Random acts of kindness. So I'm on the alto now. I was trying a different mouthpiece as well last night. I don't know what came into my head to do that. I'll never do that. I'll just stick to what I know <laughs> and what I like. I've been seeing a lot of students, I think, that's what, doing these workshops. I'm doing another one next weekend. I can't be with you next weekend because I'll be in Bournemouth with 20 sax players for the weekend. And then I can't be with you here the week after because I'm with some of you at the Ropery. How old do you want to get on a flight, mate? Come over and check out the Ropery Hall in Barton-on-Humber, nestling on the shores of the mighty river Humber in North Lincolnshire, 
on the southern shore and East Yorkshire on the northern shore. And, uh, and I know somebody whose granddad walked across the river at low tide, but you don't need to know that. But the Ropery Hall in Barton-on-Humber is a, is a shrine and an oasis, and a lot of us are going to meet there two weeks tonight with uh, my crackers mate, Dave Barry, playing the double bass. <coughs> and then a week after that, we'll meet again down here, and the date of that is... <laughs> this is testing me. I think it's the 10th of March. So... Anyway, I'm not going anywhere yet. It sounds like it's the end of the show, but it's not. I have more tunes up my sleeve. What's this one? Oh, yeah, yeah, a bit of jazz for you all. Bit of jazz, bit of jazz. Everything is in the wrong order here. We're dancing again. Just take it easy, you know, think about the lower back and all that kind of thing. It's just, just... A light dance around the kitchen, you won't spill a drop. <clears throat>
Guys, were you cheek to cheek dancing around the kitchen or the patio? Hope so. It's a great tune, Irving Berlin, I think. Irving Berlin. If you ever get a chance, well, I should rephrase that. If you're so inclined, Phil Woods, one of my favourite alto sax players, an American gentleman, superb player. He does a when he plays that, it's so brilliant. <clears throat> Tony, <laughs> God, I can't believe it. So many new people. Zendenas, welcome, guys. <sighs> Tony Hewitt, Esquire. I know you, Tony. I know you. All are welcome in the Zen Den. It's a friendly, safe place where we can forget about all that stuff that's going on outside these four walls. Here's one that I ain't playing, played for so long, even though I wrote it, I've just written in pencil the first two notes. Well, three notes, actually. It's, it's bad when you forget a tune. It's even worse when you forget one of your own tunes. I'm not the only person it happens to, which is kind of comforting. But still not good. <laughs> right. I have indeed written, but it's in pencil and it's a bit faint. But da, 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 da. <laughs> Shoot me if I get it wrong, okay? This one uh, I wrote for um, our son Joseph on the occasion of his 18th birthday, and he's 21 soon, so I should have learnt it by now. It's called JDH 18.
JDH 18. Let's be another one, JDH 21 soon. So three weeks gonna pass really quickly. <laughs> What's, oh yeah. Sally will be another year older by then as well. No, J Joe won't be, he's not till May. <clears throat> I'll be the same age, just the young snakey that you all know and get confused by. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna see some of you in the ropery, I know. Ropery Hall at the Rope Walk. So many shows coming up. It's touring season again now. We're going to be in Shaw near Oldham with Gareth. Howarth with the Burden of Paradise. Loftus with Gareth again. And we've got our massive tour of the south and southwest where we're going to hit Wimborne, Havant, Torrington, Worcester, St. Austell, Ashburton, Linton. Not necessarily in that order. So that's quite confusing because on that tour we're in Torrington, but the next gig, this coming Thursday, is in Terrington, which is near York, folks. Hope to see some of you there. That's with the, the Snake Davis Trio, with uh, Johnny on the trumpet and the flugelhorn and wonderful Mark Creswell on the guitar. Terrington Village Hall, that's a very friendly, lovely gig, which has its own bar. This coming Thursday. Yeah, I've got that right. Uh, I have. The 22nd. I think I have. So what you mustn't do, and this is an, as much a note to self as to you guys, you mustn't go to Torrington when you should be in Terrington, or Terrington when you should be in Torrington, because they're 250 miles apart. No, 300 miles. Maybe more. Oh, it gets so complicated. Nobody likes going to the wrong city and we just booked in the seven oaks festival it's not till july july the 7th but uh, some hall i played in it once before uh, it sounds like the pajama hall but i think it's pomojo or something guys i look for <laughs> oh, i hope i haven't confused you too much one for the road <clears throat> i look forward to seeing you either at one of them venues or down here again in three weeks time March the 10th thank you so much for showing up and being the great sports that you are thank you to all the wonderful musicians that helped us out on the stream tonight especially Simon Goulding on the bass guitar and uh, who else have we had Zoom Karaoke supplied a lot of his tracks Fake Davis, I suppose we should thank him. We thank Joe for the, keeping the technical side alive and kicking and Sally for doing the, the, the many things that Sally does. This is uh, Simon and Garfunk. An amazing song. I'll see you before we go.
You guys take care of yourselves, be kind, not only to one another, but to yourselves, eh? take good care, no rushing around and falling over, and I don't mean after the beer, I mean go steady and take care, it's, it's a dangerous world out there, random acts of kindness, keep that one in mind, I suppose it applies to animals as well as human beings. So I'm going to go make sure our chickens are safely tucked up and that their automatic door is closed because sometimes it doesn't. It's lovely to see it and especially to, to greet new people. That's really exciting. Spread the word guys. <sighs> Three weeks time, be there or be square. Or I'll see you out on the road or both. Lovely. Good times. You guys take care.